towards the ending of junior year, I did get pregnant and it was very hard. It was like so much going through my mind, like, okay, I'm not gonna graduate high school, everything's gonna change. I kept it to myself, didn't nobody really know, except my mama, because that's the only person that I really felt, you know, comfortable in telling. You know, I usually fell asleep in some classes because I was just like so tired. And my grades, yeah, they did slip a little because I did tend to just miss out on class or I miss out on school, stay home. You know, I wasn't planning to get pregnant. I didn't want to get pregnant. It's just that, okay, I met out, we was having protected sex and that's what just ended up happening. I mean, you don't want your friends to think that you know, she ain't gonna do nothing with her life. Her life is over and stuff like that because there are people that could be real judgmental and they, they, they wouldn't even know what's going on. With my baby being a stillbirth and even though she was seven months, like I'm dealing with it within myself. When I was going through that, I didn't do nothing for three whole weeks. Like, I didn't talk to nobody. I didn't go nowhere. I mean, now things are much better. I don't cry as much as anymore. The whole school body got together and helped out with my baby's funeral because of the expenses were so high. That was another moment in my life where I felt very loved and I had people, you know, looking out for me and caring for me. I, I liked it. So I'm back on track now at school. Um, I just, you know, jumped back in there. My mother, she played the biggest part in me staying in school. And she also helped me through the hard times when it was like hard getting up in the morning and not going to school. Cause I still have to graduate. I still have to move on my life. <laughs>